Hey Don with the Homestead Handyman here. I uh, want to check in with y'all on this next project that I'm going to do. So I'm working on my Shapeco 3 XXL and uh, I've done a few little projects on there but I'm going to need to have some clamping system on here. I've done a lot of looking at what other people have done and so I'm going to take their ideas and uh, put them all together to make my own idea here. So let's get started on this project and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Let's go! So I got my Shapeco all set up and I've done a couple of test things on there, made a little couple of signs and uh, got a general idea on how to work it. So now I got to take it up a notch here. When you get this uh, piece of equipment, you get this MDF board here and uh, that's what's on there and that's what you use to uh, mount all your uh, pieces to that you're going to be able to make. Well the only way to attach anything on here when you get it is to use like a double stick tape and that's what I've done but I need to step that up a notch and so what I've done is I went and picked up some pieces of uh, this uh, MDF and, and I've cut them to fit. I've also went and ordered some rail on here for T-nut rails. Alright so I cut my rails about one inch shorter than the dimension from the frame to the frame here so that there'll be a little room to slide the T-nut into the slot on here. I've already cut the pieces that I wanted to install in here and I've opted to go with four pieces of this railing. Now I also saw that uh, what people did was in addition to this they would go and put in threaded inserts into the board. Well I don't really like that idea because I'm afraid as you're putting pressure on there uh, to tighten up that over time you could start to pull them out and that might not be true but that's what I thought. So I'm going to put T-nuts in, drill holes and put them in underneath. And So I'm adding on this here. So we're going to have MDF board. This is 10 inches across. I have three of them with the railing on there that fits in here and then it will fit together and then it will fit together just like this and I'll be able to slide in the T-nuts. So I'll show you a little bit more as we go along just to give you the general idea of what we're doing here. Alright so here's a close-up look of a, a T-nut. It has prongs on here that go into the wood and then you drill a hole into the wood so that it'll fit. So what I did first since one piece of MDF is going to fit against the other one is I countersunk, as you can see right here, a space to fit this uh, dimension right here on, on the T-nut. And then I drilled the hole through. So this is how this is going to work. So now they'll fit in here. I will compress these into the wood and then from the top side I'll be able to take and use my clamp and clamp in. That way when I tighten this down, it's pulling up from the underneath here. So let me uh, start making these. This was a test run here on this, and uh, I'm ready to roll. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I took this piece here that is four inches wide 
and 39 inches long, 39 and a half, I'm sorry. And what I've done is taken this countersink bit and drilled down so that I could get the screw to be recessed down uh, in the um, in the particle board, I mean the MTF, so that there's no a chance of the router uh, accidentally hitting it if I do something with the spoil board uh, and I don't want to ruin the bit. So that's what I've done and I clamped the uh, piece on here first and then I got the edges all squared up and ready to go and then I took a long a long drill bit, see that there, so that I could go over here and drill because I wanted to pre-drill this other MDF board down here and this is a nice long one that allowed me to clear this channel over here that it rides on. So that's what I'm doing right now, getting that done. Okay, it's all done. Got everything screwed down and it's good to go. Here's an example. I just put a small piece in here of how this will work. So you can see there's a clamp there. And that is going into the uh, T-nut right here, the T-nut holes. And then this type of clamp will go into the rail. Now what I did was at the end here of the rail I left a space so that there's enough room to be able to put the T-nut in or uh, not T-nut I'm sorry the, the bolt or this type of bolt so there's two different kinds that you can use but uh, I'm happy with the way that this turned out I think it uh, looks awesome and it's a lot cheaper than buying the unit from Carbide 3D. And uh, theirs only has the rails, and this one has both the rails and the T-nuts, so I have uh, some options here.